The largest volcano in the solar system may have once been an island. A new study has found similarities between Earth's active volcanic islands and Olympus Mons. The largest volcano in the solar system. Scientists suggest that this volcano rising more than 21 kilometers may have once been an island in a vast sea at a time when Mars was warmer, had a thicker atmosphere and liquid water on the surface. Mars has been volcanically active in the past. This is evidenced by, for example, Olympus Mons, an extinct volcano that is also the largest mountain in the solar system. It rises more than 21 kilometers above the average surface of the planet. Scientists believe it was formed more than 3 billion years ago. Its diameter at the base is 624 kilometers. The base itself is clearly marked by escarpments, some of which are up to 6 kilometers high. The crater at the top of the mountain is 85 kilometers long, 60 kilometers wide and 3 kilometers deep. In a new study, scientists have suggested that in the distant past, when the red planet was not a dry and barren desert and water flowed over its surface, Olympus Mons may have been an island and resembled Stromboli. Only on a much larger scale. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Earth and Planetary Science Letters. Olympus Mons is similar to volcanic islands on Earth. At least that's what researchers say in a new study. We show that the giant volcano Olympus Mons shares morphological similarities with active volcanic islands on Earth, wrote the scientists led by geologist Anthony Hildenbrand of the University of Paris Sackley in France. According to the authors of the research, this is evidenced by cracks on the slopes, but not only. Its base is not in contact with the ground, like a slope. At an altitude of about 6 kilometers, for a large part of its circumference, it turns into a pronounced cliff or escarpment that drops sharply down. The origin of this feature may be related to liquid water. We suggest that the upper edge of the 6 km concentric main escarpment surrounding Olympus Mons was most likely formed by lava flowing into liquid water, the researchers wrote. Hildenbrand and his colleagues looked at shield volcanoes on Earth. In particular, they studied three active volcanic islands, Pico Island in Portugal, Fogo in Canada and Hawaii. They noticed that the shorelines of these islands have sharp escarpments, similar to that surrounding Olympus Mons. On Earth. This landform is the result of differential cooling of the lava as it passes from air to water. 
This leads us to conclude that Olympus Mons was once a volcanic island surrounded by liquid water. The researchers write in the paper. This may give us some clues about the history of water on Mars. For example, the height of the escarpment would be the sea level of a long dead ocean. And the age of the lava, dated to about 3.7 to 3 billion years ago, tells us when that ocean might have been there. Moreover, the researchers found similar features on another Martian volcanic mountain, Alba Mons. Located more than 1,500 kilometers from Olympus Mons in a vast area of lowlands. This may mean that the waters of the ancient ocean filled large areas of the surface of Mars. Danish scientists came to similar conclusions in a study a year ago, who suggested that there could be so much water on Mars that it covered the entire planet. The results of the new analysis provide clues for future missions to Mars, revealing new directions for research into the history and evolution of Mars and its liquid water. Future sampling missions and rovers equipped with in-situ dating instruments at selected Olympus Mons sites represent a promising research direction for the future that could have a significant impact on our understanding of Martian oceans, the researchers write.